I've got a fish on. Running out. That's a big one. Is it big? Yeah, it's a Connor's PB. Welcome back, everybody. I'm fishing a small lake next to my house today in the boat. Two of my friends should be showing up here any second. There's literally no one here at the ramp today because it's raining. Apparently, these are the rains from the storm down in Texas, the hurricane, but I don't know how true that is because we are in Illinois. This is gonna be my first time trying to put the boat in by myself. I'm probably gonna tie the rope to the dock, I guess. I don't really know. The only issue about today when it's raining is usually I plug this camera in that goes right there, but I can't plug it in because of the rain. So this one's probably only gonna be on for the first few fish. Hopefully we catch a few fish. It's honestly like the perfect amount of rain where I'm just gonna wear my jacket and not my pants, my rain pants either. And it's supposed to not pick up to like 10. So we should have about three and a half hours. It's 6.30 right now. So we should have a good amount of time to fish before it really starts pouring. It shouldn't be thundering or anything. So I'm gonna get the boat in and and I'll see you guys on the water. Way up under the tree. It's not a terrible fish. Look how pale he is. Because the water's so dirty. Just try kind of get like you might want to come here with me. It's a two. Yeah. Up under the tree. There's number one. Okay. <laughs> Literally in an inch of water. They're on the bank today for some reason. He's peeing everywhere. Stop that. Tiny one. Texas rig again. Up at that rock. Cast in there with yours, Connor, just see. There's another fish in there. Yeah. Yeah. Just because the water's so dirty. It's another easy. Ten and a half. Yeah. On that log. They're definitely relating right next to wood in the dirty water. Yeah. I'm swapping back to the jig. Do the same thing with the jig though. Like stay up here, it's easier. Oh. Being up on the front or the back, it makes a big difference. No slingshot, your rod was bent. No, don't do that. You see, look, my rod when I do it, watch, is completely straight. So the only time when it bends is might be after I let go with this hand. So if I wanted to go in there, I'm just gonna flip it in there with my rod completely straight. You just are following through. You're not using the rod at all besides to follow through your lure. Yep. If you slingshot okay. it, it'll go random directions. Okay, watch me. You just, Use your wrist. Look oh. at my wrist. Uh -huh. Hold like this. And then I, I'm just, I'm holding this and the second I feel pressure from my rod on my hand, I'm letting it go and just dropping it in basically. That's it. Yep. Literally this giant tree looks so good. I think I've caught two fish out of it ever. It makes no uh -huh. sense. It looks like it should just be full of giant bass. Today could be different. There's probably one in it, but it's kind of hard to fish the whole thing. We went to the weird fishing. No. Nah. <laughs> there was a fish in there. I'm I brought it you in the face of my rod. Around. Yep. He was way up in there. I mean, these fish are yeah, so shallow for no reason. Tiny. Caught him over a branch. Yeah. Seven six heavy. Oh my God. Owen. That's what the fish just did to my Bronco bug.
Anybody need a sock? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Get out and grab him. Look, he's free. Snag him, I'm snag him. <laughs> Look, uh -huh. say there's a fish on there, right? There is. Both times now we've been here and I've tried to show you how to set the hook, I've caught a fish. Remember yeah. last time? <laughs> so, did you see how I reeled down my slack and used my rod and my arms and my whole body, not just my arms? Where are the big fish at? I got a fish. Running out, that's a big one. Is it big? Yeah, it's like a... Uh -huh. Flip him, flip him, flip him. Tighten your foot. Two pounds? Yeah, that's your biggest fish ever. Yep. Your drag's tighten your drag. Connor yeah. tried to flip that fish and his drag was too loose. That that's gonna be about there. I mean look, good hook set uh -huh. though. You did it right. That was yeah. I saw I washed you, you did it right. I used what I was taught. Oh, uh, I'm gonna say. Nice. The fish undid it for you. Okay, Come on. Connor's biggest like bass two, ever five, is two, is gonna be like 112. It's gonna be right no. there. His PB is 111. Let's see if this beats it. Okay, stop. Was that 114? I saw 114 for a second. 114. 114. Grab him. You want a picture or not? I mean, that's good enough. Connor's PB. Not even He's building it up. I'll get to see by the end of the day. Yeah, I'm still feeling some stuff though. Duck. I've got a fish on. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> You're standing away from it, standing there after I said duck. <laughs> With your rod up. I was like, I'm going to break your rod. Uh -huh. <laughs> right as I was complaining about how too, it's too shallow over here to catch a fish. This one? The big cypress tree in front of us. The one with the tree, leaves hanging uh -huh. down. That's where I hooked him. Not this right size, but... It's not a bad one. Not at all. Probably upper ones. I watched him eat it. He was in such shallow water, I saw him come out of the, I saw him come up and eat it before my thing could hit the ground. Yep. <laughs> Look how fat that one is. Oh yeah. That might be the new biggest today. Uh, I think because of his gut, probably. He was definitely shorter than when you caught, but his yeah. stomach was huge. That's not a bad one. I thought he was bigger than that. I did too. I'll take it. Finally got a buzz bait fish. Black buzz bait. Fishing this here because it's too shallow to fish it. Not too shallow, but just so shallow. Makes no sense, he was like 10 feet out from the trees too, just existing. I would get it back to where we didn't, got one, so. good one. Get him in, flip him. Yes, no, we no, all no. caught a fish. I'm telling you it's the quarter ounce weight. Oh, no. How long was that after? That was like- 100 yards, long maybe. Long. We all caught a fish, so. hold him up after you unhook him. Number one for Owen. I think that's fish number 10 for the boat. Hey, it's been a minute since we caught a fish. Owen's last one was like way down the bank. Finally got one. I think this is my eighth or ninth, I don't even know. Pretty good number. Little guy.
you know, because I stopped it. I stopped my recording with my last fish, and Connor got one. Oh my Very god. Very nice. Push down, yep. Just keep going, and then push it inward a little bit. Beautiful. That was the worst hooks that I've ever done because I saw the plastic wrap on my rod. <laughs> it almost, I almost, almost dropped it. it. Yeah. <laughs> when I get on the plastic wrap, it's coming off of a new X Pride. Yep. I think this is number 10. Not bad. Texas Tree again. Bass. Giant one? No. No. Way out at the boat? Yeah. Why was he, was he all the way out at the boat? He was like maybe five or 10 feet away. From the shore? Uh, yeah, he got on it. Dude, where is he hooked at? Number, Connor's number small. three. That's probably the smallest, yeah. He broke the two fish curse. You can probably go refish the good bank where he caught all the fish if you guys don't want to leave. We still have a lot of time. Another one? Yep. No. Was he little? Yeah, he was little and he was hooked in like the corner of his mouth. Why are they out so far being weird? I don't know. That was not a great cast. Yeah. I got a fish on. Do you? Yeah. Way out here again. Why are they like at the boat? I don't know. This is weird. He's got a hook down in him, yeah. Is that not mine? Oh, it's not oh, mine. That's the okay. Texas rig hook. Well, he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Is that big? Can you no, I don't think it's big. That's not a bad fish. Nope. Nice. Out deep. They all are right now. Yeah, I'll back the boat off. That was a good hook set. First one ever. That one's the longest one yet. Yep. That makes here. Let's fish to the rocks and I think be done. Yep. You go to that Owen? Fish until the the, the rocks? <laughs> I think I think I hook set him a little bit <laughs> over to kill. My lines are going to the side of it. When that happens either it's either fish this size or they're huge. Uh-huh. I almost caught him. Like start it. Right. Quick release. I didn't have him hooked. He ate it when I was swimming it out. Did you see that? I was reeling it in and he ate it. Oh, that was a good flip. I literally was reeling in my jig and that fish ate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst flip. <laughs> That's going in the video. That was the worst. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That was the worst flip I've ever seen. You literally went like this. <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh my god. That's not a bad one. Oh my god. I'll throw it. You want me to throw him back? Yeah. You. Oh. <laughs> Owen's second fish. Let's go. No one caught only one. Perfect. Nice. I don't even know. Tiny fish number like 12 for me or something like that. Yeah. How about that to me, Owen? Well, that fish went for a ride. Number 13.
I don't think whatever I just said to her against it was a fish. I don't think that. I don't know. I actually don't. I really don't know. I got one. Oh, chatterbait. Looks pretty decent. Yeah. So pale. Look at that. Yeah. Look how white that fish is. First chatterbait fish of the day. Five pounds and three quarters. Nice. We are at the dock putting the boat in. I'm still recording. And Owen just caught a fish. Last second. We're literally at the dock to put the boat in. Here, hold it. Get the boat. Like, hold it. Just Owen's the third. That means Connor caught six. Owen caught three. I caught 15. That's pretty good. That's it for this video we're leaving right now i ended up with 15 connor caught six owen caught three it's very good for the slake don't know uh why we didn't catch any big fish though i think they're all kind of out deep i don't know any deep spots here but it was a super good day got soaked at the end there trying to put everything away in time but it started absolutely pouring now so don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching